Evet, maşallah. We are all coming from uh, one and only Allah inşallah. Uh, we need to love each other. Uh, we need to live in peace and brotherhood uh, inşallah. As you said, uh, you are right inşallah. Well, uh, next question is, how is Judaism's approach and acceptance uh, toward Islam? Uh, is there any ground for unity among Muslims and Jews? And do you believe the children of Abraham peacefully uh, coexist? Well, let me give a little preface to that. I, I, that I, I think Rabbi Abraham said, gave the basis for the answer to that question. Yes. yes. I don't think there is anything that really needs needed. <laughs> Islam, as far as Judaism is concerned, is a perfect religion. And if Jews would live up to all that Judaism demands of them, and Muslims would live all up to all that Islam demands of them, that would be wonderful. Well, of course, they can coexist because we believe in the same Allah. Mm -hmm. We love the same prophets. There is Jacob, only one: John, Solomon, David, Moses, or Jesus, or other prophets also. And we, we love them, we respect them, and so there is no reason for conflict. This is very abnormal. And what we meant uh, before is unity. Jews and uh, Muslims coexist together is very important, and this will solve all the problems. More than coexist, yes. but cooperate. Cooperate, yes. Right. Like in the past, yes. we had this in the past actually. The time of the Ottoman Empire, we lived in peace mm -hmm. for centuries long. Mm -hmm. There was no problems, and of course there shouldn't be any problems. Mm -hmm. And to live uh, in Israel, Allah gave you the right to the Jews to live there in the Holy Land. This is a, a yes. verse from the Quran. Allah says. And dwell in the holy land which Allah has ordained for you. So Jews will exist there, your descendants of the prophets, until the last day in the mm -hmm. holy land. Mm -hmm. So as well as Muslims and Christians have the right also peacefully coexist and live there wherever they would like to, not only in Israel but everywhere. You can, mm -hmm. you can go and live in Jordan for example where Abraham peace be upon him lived. You can go to Egypt, to, to, you come to Turkey, settle there, have factories, get rich progress in science and technology, and inshallah, with the Moshia, this will happen. Mm -hmm. Inshallah. Yes, Judaism teaches uh, v very, very similar teachings that, that the, the children of Noah, uh, peace be upon him, there were 70 children that spread upon the whole world, and, and Allah made covenants with all of them. Uh, some of them fell away, they fell into idolatry, but uh, the children of Abraham and uh, eventually the children of Ishmael and, and uh, in the end times the children of Esau will, will uh, all, they, they have at their our fundamental basic basis our, our, our divine religions and uh, this is something we can respect as long as they're keeping the, the, you know, the, the, the fundamental of religion to submit to Allah, to do good deeds, to believe in uh, the last day. And, and this will stop all the bloodshed and the yes. wars and the conflicts and terrorism and violence, inshallah. Yes, yes, inshallah. Okay.